the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 52, Numbers 20 to 21. Moses, who could not enter Canaan. Moses, who should have ordered the rock, instead struck it to get water because of the people's grumbling. God forbade his entrance into Canaan because of this. First point, God measured Moses to a very high standard as the leader. The Israel nation who made it a habit to complain once again started grumbling when there was no water. Moses, who was a humble and meek man, could not keep it in this time. To this, God told Moses to command the log. But Moses instead hit the log twice with his staff. When Moses hit the log twice, water came flooding out. But God pointed out to Moses that he failed to live it as a holiness. Moreover, God told Moses that he would not be able to enter the land of Canaan because of this. If we think about it, God forgave the Israel nation on countless occasions for their unforgivable sins. But to Moses, even this one little mistake was not permitted. This was because God had extremely high standards for Moses. Moses accepted that he could not enter Canaan, and until the very end, he did his best to prepare the people. Second point, Miriam saved Moses' life as well as being a true companion. Miriam, who was seven years older than Moses, passed away. We remember that at one point, Aaron and Miriam were jealous of Moses and so rebuked him, which made God punish Miriam with leprosy. Moses prayed for her and she was healed. In many ways, Miriam was Moses' lifesaver and also a true comrade. Third point, the first high priest Aaron passed on his position to Eliezer. After the death of Miriam, Aaron died at age 123 on Mount Horeb. When he died, he passed on his role as high priest to his son Eliezer by handling down his priestly garment. We can summarize Aaron's life in five points. The first was that he was eloquent in speech. The second was that he was forgiven for the golden calf instance. The third was that he had to see the death of his two sons, Nadab and Abihu. The fourth was his acceptance of the incense and staff competition. The fifth was his efforts to save the people by learning into the middle of the plague with the burning incense. The first high priest was Aaron, and the final high priest was Jesus. Jesus confirmed God's love and forgiveness for us by dying on the cross. Fourth point, the book of Obadiah must be read with Numbers chapter 20. On the way from Kadesh Barnea to the land of Canaan, the fastest way to go was to pass through the land of Edom. And so the Israel nation asked the king of Edom for help. We know that the descendants of Edom had become a brother nation to Israel. But the king of Edom rejected the request of Moses. So Moses found a way other than to fight. Long before, God had given the descendants of Edom the land of Seir. And so Moses respected this and did not fight with them. But after the passing of time, God decided to perish 
the descendants of Edom. This was because whilst South Judah was being punished for their sins, the descendants of Edom sided with Babylon and helped them instead. God did not forgive the descendants of Edom, who did not care for their brother nation. It is important to read the book of Obadiah and Numbers chapter 20 together in context. Fifth point, God sends venomous snakes to bite and bronze snakes to save. When the Israelites had to find a longer route to go to Canaan, they once again started to complain. At this, God sent venomous snakes and made them bite the people. The people realized that they had sinned and started to ask Moses for help. God told Moses how the people would be able to live. Later, Jesus mentioned the story of the bronze snakes. The people who saw the bronze snakes were able to live, and whoever today believes in Jesus the Savior is able to live. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.